Human beings are weird. We invent things that aren't needed. Hamster wheels for cats. Coffee machines that have built-in alarm clocks and you wake up, oh, and it's making me coffee already. You wish you had that. When it comes to camera gear, all these companies make these nice cameras and then tiny little baby sprout companies think, hmm, I could make an accessory for that. I could get in on that action. So it's almost like they're part of the Canon company if it was a Canon camera. So my good old buddies at Hohem have blessed our hearts once more and they made a perhaps obsolete piece of technology that I have in my pocket right now. A gimbal for a smartphone because this is so shaky. Let's find out if there's any use for this thing or if we're gonna throw it in a river. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So obviously this is pretty stable. We're on the Huawei P40 Pro and it has amazing electronic stabilization. It works great. The last thing on earth you would need is a gimbal to not only complicate your life but possibly make this worse. But I thought, they reached out to me and I was like, you know what? I could have a use for it because we're digitally cropped right now. If you turn off the stabe, I said that weird, then you're wider and you have a gimbal, you might have something there. Then I found out you can't do that on this phone. You can't even do it unless you can. So basically the only way to turn off digital stay one is the 240 frames per second slow-mo. So that has a use. We could now have stable wide slow-mo. And there's these color profiles that for some reason just remove digital stay. So we'll try some of that. Let's take a closer look at the thing. He is so professional right now showing the actual item that he's using. This thing's tiny, I'll give you that. It fits right in the pocket and this is folded up. I almost don't remember how it like unfolds. It's a little awkward, you gotta get that and turn that. You can't see any of it. Oh God, I suck at my job. And then the smartphone goes in here. It also has a little tripod foot thing. Not bad, it's all plastic, but it comes out if you need it to. Oh, wow. And it extends if you like that kind of action. Okay, so let's switch to this. Let's pay attention to the normal digital stabe, and then I'll go into one of these weird color profiles. Super wide, no digital stabe, but only gimbal stabe. And is it better or worse, and is this of any use to anybody? How y'all doing? Ah, we're in, we're in nostalgia. There's no nostalgia here, but is it stable now? And now we're super wide. Can you, no, you tilt, I'm in the wrong ass mode. I don't know how gimbals work. I suck at my job. That's some interesting choices you're making right now. Why are you beeping at my ass? I don't think it can handle the weight of the Huawei. There's some flaws I'm noticing already here. A couple flaws. <laughs> Go that way. So one thing, it has to be in the center and the Huawei power button, it's kind of in the center. So I have to be a bit off to the left and now it's struggling to counterbalance that. That's a bitch. Usually I'm just, I'm not a fan of gimbals. I hate them with a passion because you have to balance them and everything. But this, I figured you just clamp it, you're done. There's no like, oh, measure this axis. Where are you going? Come back to me. Now, one thing I'm noticing immediately I have to hold it straight up pretty much. I can't really tilt it away from me. It doesn't have the power. So I don't have much reach. This could have been so epic. I should have brought the tripod, but that wouldn't work. It's not very strong for this big ass phone. I'm in dawn mode. There's dawn in the corner. Is it this corner? I see the light. That slow-mo didn't really hold me there. 
as I ran. It's not a very powerful gimbal, but that's not what you want in a gimbal. You just want it to be comfortable and small and not do its job. That's what I prefer. Now here's something interesting. We're on the main lens now in black and white and it's a bigger sensor, but still no digital stave, so super wide and stable now. There's not a lot of uses. Here, I gotta let out a little rant here for you, Hohem. Little life lesson for you. I tried your GoPro 8 gimbal, and here's the deal. Action cams, people are studying GoPro for their amazing, unheard of stabilization. You don't need to make a product that stabilizes it. It's already perfect. Although it's a little jerky, it's a little weird. The background's stable, and then whatever's holding the actual camera wiggles around in the frame. I noticed that on the DJI Pocket too. It has that same kind of, you're jerking around in the frame. Stop jerking it, freak. What are you doing? <laughs> Am I holding it wrong? Oh, I'm tilting it weird now. It's fine. I don't mind this. I prefer it. Here's the deal again. Hohem, they made a gimbal for the... Hero 7, and then the Hero 8 was a little bigger, so they're like, it wasn't adaptable. They couldn't change it, it would fit exactly, and so it's like, okay, that, that whole product is crushed. So they made one for the 8, and now the 9 is a little bigger, and they're like, you have to learn your lessons, make it adaptable, and same with this, it's not centered. Most buttons are on the phone. Oh god. So you have to have a little adapter that moves it, something. This ain't gonna work. I had to take my case off too. What if I drop this thing? Which the odds are likely, because this thing's going haywire. Help, help. All right, we're in halo and back on the wide lens. So I just, unless you're planning on doing what I'm doing with these color profiles, a lot of phones don't let you tweak things. It's so annoying. Let me play around in there, you stupid piece of shit phone. Let me change settings. I can't do 24p. I can't turn off the stab if I want. Can't do a damn thing. Audio levels? No idea. How's the audio, by the way? We're using it. We're using the secret mic. I'll review it soon. If you want to kill your channel, you want to just destroy your YouTube channel, accept all these random ass items from companies. Like, oh, you want to try this gimbal? Yep, I sure do. You want to try these filters? Oh, wow. How about this camera monitor? Review every single one of them, because that's good content. I love that. The only reason I thought this could be fun, so we're doing it. And this audio is good. It's good times. It's not compressed. You don't know what you're listening to. You have no idea how many things I refuse. Just useless items, but if it has a purpose, I, I'll go for it. I have an actual tripod coming that sounded interesting. It could be better than this GoPro piece of shit that I use. Oh, dark. How's the low light performance? Terrible? Is the stabe at least good though? Because we have no stabe on the phone, so if it's... There's no point. There's no point. To give some positives about the gimbal, I know I'm talking trash about it, just because of the whole use case, like smartphone stabilization is amazing. To think that you would need a gimbal, there's no other use case for it unless you want the wider look, which we've established looks like shit, probably. It's light. It folds up if you need to, but why would you? You'd have to take the phone out and then do all the stuff and fold it. And It could be very compact if it was good, which it, it's kind of working. It does change a lot. If your phone's too ass heavy, it's a problem that I'm experiencing. How's the auto focus? Wow. So smooth. And then it tilts. So it's not very strong, but it's light and probably cheap. Maybe, and there are affiliate links down below, of course, for your viewing pleasure. See, like, what was that? I was about to start talking, and then you freaked on me. And you're tilting to that side. <laughs> stop, stop doing this dab shit. Stop doing this, ho -hem. Why are you doing this to me? I was so nice to you. Stop it. Stop doing what you want in life. We have to follow rules. Is it because I'm pulling that <laughs> USB? That's on me. That's all me. <laughs> We're in semi-mental now. 
That's what my whole show is based on. How have I not been locked up? I don't know. So can I recommend this item? Honestly, I probably should have learned my lesson from the last Ho-Hem product that barely stabilized the GoPro. It barely worked. This, I feel like this is better quality, but I don't like how it's freaking. It's not very strong. I can't recommend it. Obviously, there's probably better gimbals, but even the whole concept is irrelevant. Because smartphone stape is so good already. So, links are down below if you want to try this bad boy out. Highly recommend it. I'll give it away. If one of you want it and you live in Toronto, I'm not mailing this thing. So we both spend money shipping and customs and all that. If you want it and you live in Toronto, for some reason your old ass phone doesn't have stabe, then yes. But all the new ones have it. So if you're using an old phone to vlog, we got it for you. Email me, vegetablepolice at gmail.com. Keep it business related, assholes. Don't want to hear your random thoughts. Oh, this is fun. Have you ever tried the Sony A6400? Heard that's good. It's not. Battery lasts longer than I do in bed. It works. How's the blurry background? You can't even tell that I'm not on full frame. <laughs> All these jerks. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Thank you for watching and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. I didn't sell out. Subscribe for more right now, Santa. I'm getting epic B-roll right now. Oh, wow. You can't even tell. That is so beautiful. It works so well, that mode. We're at Tony 2.8. Video was over. I could have just left. Why am I working overtime? Is that the lens that's doing it? It's a bad mode. I don't know that smartphones will ever catch up outlining my head. Hair exists. It's a problem. I'll leave. I didn't leave. We're at Tony 0.95 now. It's basically, this is what the medium format Fuji would look like if it had a flippy screen and I bought it, which I won't. It's not meant for vloggers. I get it, asshole. Nothing is. Nothing. <laughs> I'll leave.